So uh, back to the video um, on the sneaker collection. This next shoe is um, the Air Jordan 1 Spider-Verse um, Chicago or Spider-Man um, shock drop pair. So this is kind of rare pair. Um, a little bit about this shoe. Um, this was created by a, um, a Instagrammer slash um, sneaker collector um, by the name of a Soul Savvy, I believe, is how you pronounce um, his Instagram name. So um, he created a a shoe that was like a Spider Man shoe, um, and then he was spotted wearing it. Um, throughout like Instagram and posting pictures of it. So then um a lot of people caught wind um to it. And uh this was when the Spider um Spider Verse Spider Man movie was gonna come out. So they um kind of just like uh, gave the guy like a bunch of um viral um attention. Um and then his shoe he had was like um a custom shoe he had made I guess for um himself and his friends i believe um and then he was spotted wearing it on social media so he had like versions he had samples and then he had women samples so nike kind of was like aiming towards making a spider-man shoe again um in 2023 2024 um so the guy that uh created the spider-man shoe they kind of took his idea of um how he designed it and they kind of threw it out there like they're gonna bring out um, their version of the spider-man or spider-verse uh, miles morales shoe so all this craze was floating around um and then the guy started to like gain like a lot of viral attention and then he was spotted in them um and then he kind of was like um wearing the shoes on his Instagram posts. And then, um, so Nike was going to release, um, their version of the Spider-Man Jordan one Chicago. And, um, they had like, um, the same design of his shoe. So they started to like put up, um, pictures on, um, sneaker news and different, um, outlets for, um, sneaker heads and sneaker collectors. So, um, while this was going on, um, Nike was um, going to release a shoe on a certain date. Um, and then the guy that created the original look or the original shoe of the Spider-Man um, was spotted in like sample versions, sample pairs. So like I kind of reached out to the guy and I was like, yo, um, messaging back and forth and trying to get a little info on the shoe so I could kind of track it down and um he was kind of like just not really um responding so he had uh started to make pairs to sell and um I guess he like sold out the pairs he had and then um he was spotted in a women's sample um size version so then um when the shoe was released um they released it in a shock drop which is like um uh release day before the release day so they release certain amount of pairs on a certain day before the shoe actually comes out in the release from like stores that such as like Foot Locker or whatever or nike so then that shoe um was gonna get released and then they had a shock drop i think like a week before so all this craze was going around about the spider-man jordan ones that they're gonna be so rare and then um People started to get their hands on it early and like sneaker events and like sneaker collectors were getting the shoe and it was just floating around. Um, but there was no source of um, the actual shoe or no one was selling it or you couldn't buy it nowhere. So I just like had to sit tight and wait. So um, what I did was started to do more research on the shoe and find out like how to get a hold of it. So um the shock drop happened to come around and I entered the raffle for the shock drop on the day it, um, it was coming out. And then um, 
a lot of people with the pairs got rid of their pairs because they said that the shoe was trash and um it wasn't worth nothing and it was ugly it wasn't like a a real jordan it was just like um something they just created that was just going to sit on shelves and it had nothing like that looked like spider-man but people were just saying like all around the whole shoe was just ugly it was just nothing it wasn't even worth buying um, and that there's going to be multiple pairs so everybody can just get them and it wasn't exclusive so a lot of people got rid of their pairs um i still couldn't get a hold of a pair um even in my sizes it was impossible um so i knew the shoe was rare at that point so when they had the shock drop release like a week before the release i entered uh the nike um raffle or like a, the draw um, to purchase it and then um, it happened like sometime during the evening and then um, they said they will send an email then uh, I sent I got an email that was sent and um, I was watching live videos of people trying to buy the shoe and a lot of people took um, losses and um, the email would say like you didn't receive the shoe it sold out so then pretty much at that point I knew the shoe was very rare and it was going to be impossible to get. So then what I did was um, I waited again for the actual release day. And then um, I believe like the only person that had a pair at the time was like DJ Khaled. He had like a full size run. He had like um, his size, his wife's size, his kid size. So his were like exclusive to only them and his fa him and his family. Um, and I believe his pairs were the original release nike pairs i'm not too sure about that um so then um the actual release uh came out or the release date came around for the shoe to release like in stores and then on the nike website so i i during that time i kind of was like i'm not gonna get it i already knew because it was impossible to find it and then to buy it when it was shock drop before the release so I knew it was a very rare shoe and I needed to get my hands on it. So what I did was um, I kind of contacted a couple of people that had the shock drop pair. Somehow they got it. Somehow people had it. It was floating around on, on eBay and different um, websites. Um, it was just like kind of uh, a higher value, but um, I just didn't wait. So uh, what I did was the day it was released, I tried again to to uh, purchase it in a raffle on the website and it said I didn't get the shoe a, a second time so then that's when I was kind of like in the middle of already contacting people that had the shoe so I could um get the shoe so then um I did a couple of um messages to research to people to sellers that had it so I summed it down to like maybe three sellers and then I just went ahead and purchased it off one seller I remained anonymous. Um, he did not know who I was, so he sent the shoe. The shoe was coming. I didn't get it on the day it was supposed to come out. So then I already knew my pair was coming. Um, so then at this point, I kind of was just like, already, like I have the shoe. It's already mine. The only thing was um, it was mailing. And uh, it's kind of like tricky with um, receiving mail and something that's rare. People could intercept it or switch it or take it or not even send it so it's kind of just sitting tight and then finally when the shoe came um it was like pretty much worth it it was just like rare um to see the shoe to have it in hand and then um i believe um the guy that created the shoe originally he kind of like lost all his um his um I would say like um, viral moments because a lot of people were like, oh, the real pair is like the real pair. And then he had like just whatever made pairs, um, like sampled material pairs that he made out of shoes. So um, I believe like uh, Nike kind of reached out to him and gave him like an opportunity to make an Air Jordan just because he created the original um, Spider-Man shoe. So then he came out with an exclusive Jordan 1 Prowler, which is like the bad guy in the movie. Um, so there was no possible way I could get that. 
but I did get the Shock Drop Spider-Man Jordan 1. So, um, I believe this came out twice, and then I believe there was just, like, um, aftermarket pairs at sneaker stores that, um, people, um, got a hold of. So, this is the Shock Drop pair. So, um, a little bit about the shoe, um... It has like a an error on it because of the um, the tongue. It was it wasn't supposed to be half red and half white. Uh, so that's like an error. Everybody says that the shock drop pair has. It's like a rumor, but I mean, I guess it is like a true rumor because um, the tongue is half red, half white. So um, I believe that's called like the split um, design, but people say it's an error error pair. Um, and then, uh, a little bit about the shoe, the detail, um, the circles on the top for the upper panel is like Spider-Man's, uh, Miles Morales' costume, like ripping into the Spider-Verse universe. It's when he's transforming. Um, and then you have like red suede from his costume throughout the whole shoe and then patented leather throughout the material of the shoe. And then like spider, um, man costume um material on the shoe and then you have like this off-white tongue um and then of course you have like the chicago jordan colorway um through the whole shoe so um they added like patented leather iridescent um uh, for the swoosh and then on the top they added like a translucent um iridescent for the um upper uh the shoe it glows in the dark so if you hold it up to the light and then you um cut the light off it'll, it glows in the dark on the bottom and but the glow is like white it's not green it's not like um glow it's actually like a white like a foggy white color and then um if you have fake pairs if you hold it up to the light and you turn the light off um, the glow will not um, last it will go away but the real pair the glow will um, withhold its glow so yeah that's just a uh, rare uh, spider-man jordan one chicago spider-verse or miles morales so i'll do another video on this next pair